found the easy peasy method two years ago and my mind was blown. I loved how there were no urges. I was just free for once. I didn't feel like it was this battle uphill. It was fantastic, but it wasn't the best. As time went on, I, you know, I relapsed, I slipped, and I had to read the book over and over and over again. But it was still so much better than no fat because instead of having to feel as though I had to battle urges, all I had to do was reread the book. It was fine. And eventually, about nine months, a year later, I kind of cracked it. I read the easy peasy method my last few times, and then I genuinely felt as though I was done. The problem was, is that I always feared Okay, I feel like I'm done, but I feel like if I use PMO again, or I feel like maybe if I view some porn accidentally, that I'm going to have to be... I'm going to relapse, I'm going to slip. Water slides in my brain are going to reactivate, and I'm going to be whizzing down it right back to PMO. Not what I wanted. So I found the Freedom Model in April of last year, and it blew my mind. I remember when I first read it, I was walking around my like neighborhood with my headphones on. Man, when they were talking about how most alcoholics actually, most alcoholics, bullshit term, actually end up moderating alcohol, and that people do the same with cocaine and heroin, I was like, what? Heroin? That's like the most addictive drug. It just made me think like, fuck. They talked about how addiction doesn't make sense, about how how most people get over it about how we don't have cravings we actively crave and we crave for rational reasons it's just that when we believe that we're addicted things get muddled up this is way too out there i have to dig in more i have to figure out more about what this shit actually is so for the past like nine months straight i have been researching this book understanding this book i've watched every single freedom model podcast i've read the freedom model book about 10 times through i've been obsessed because i've had this inkling that this is the cure to the pmo problem and i knew that if i could solve this if i can make this work for pmo and i can make these videos that spread it we can really start something that saves the world a lot of pain which is what i ultimately care about right i want to take the world's pain and reduce it as much as possible and so spreading this good information that helps people get free is what i want to do so what are the advantages of the freedom model now that i'm free and i've been doing the freedom model why is this better than easy peasy first of all i do not fear relapse i do not fear slipping it's not something i think about ever i can watch adverts with women on it i can look at girls in the street i can I can look at any girl, I can even watch porn, and I don't feel the pull. With Easy Peasy, you felt the pull. If you watch porn, you feel the pull. I don't experience that. It's it's great. It's great to just feel relaxed. It's great to experience, like, no fear, no, oh, I'm just one, like, porn video away from relapsing and slipping right back to how I was before. I genuinely feel as though I can take it or leave it. Like how I'm, like, with alcohol at the pub, right? At the pub, I can take it or leave it with the beer, you know? I don't have to be at the bar drinking non-stop. And, and with PMO, now it's the same. And it's so much better. It's so much better than easy being in that easy-peasy state where you're having to walk around, like, thinking you're stepping on eggshells. I don't feel like that anymore. I don't. Another thing that's amazing about the Freedom Model is that it's the actual truth. Like I've scrutinized this stuff so much. I've reasoned so much about this and it's the truth. Whereas with easy peasy, there's so many logical holes and it doesn't feel like the truth. It feels like a gimmick. It's great in that it's a method to quit PMO. It's a method to quit urges, to kill urges. But it feels like you're doing something for the purposes of just the utility of quitting PMO. It doesn't feel like you're reaching truth. Whereas with the Freedom Model, at the start I felt like, oh, maybe this is a bit of a gimmick. But then as I read it more, it began to dawn on me that this is the truth. I couldn't think of any counter arguments to it. There are some things that they say in there which are just so logically watertight. What can I say? It's just the truth. And once you know the truth, that addiction doesn't exist, you can't be addicted. It's not possible anymore. Because the only reason why it was possible in the first place is because you believed lies. When you see the lies and the myths for what they are, you just know the truth. It's like knowing that gravity pulls things down. It's like knowing the sky is blue. Addiction doesn't exist. Of course it doesn't. That's how it feels. And it feels so freeing. It feels so much better. And I want this feeling for you too. I want this state that I'm in for you too. Hence, I'm making this content. Hence, I'm putting a lot of effort in here. Read the Freedom Model. The link will be below. It's free. You can also check out their channel. Give them credit. Watch their stuff because then you'll get you from the horse's mouth. I'm quite useful because I'm a younger guy. I mean, I was in your position and so you're getting my perspective for some from someone who's gone through the journey you've gone through was with the freedom model guys they're a lot older they're like in their 50s they've done it with drugs and alcohol and aa and all this stuff it's a little bit unfamiliar so for me it's quite useful that you know you're looking at someone who's essentially in the future of where you want to get to like personally i can give you a lot of personal insight there but ultimately if you want the like technical details of how this works if you want the truth to the highest extent they are much better of an authority than i am although i'm pretty good too because again i've solved this problem for me and i'm solving this problem for other people too on telegram again enough about me read the book and utilize these videos as well i hope that you really overcome this shit it's not as hard as you think you don't have to use willpower you don't have to go through nofap you don't have to believe all this dopamine addiction oh i need porn face i need porn i need to improve my mental health before i can go from self-improvement habits you don't need to suffer with this confusion you can actually not only learn the truth about addiction but as i said that truth 
is what sets you free. Read the freedom model and stay tuned. Like this video so that we can spread this all around the YouTube and we can help as many people as possible get on to being free instead of being bounded by fucking bullshit ideology. Bullshit nofap ideology. Subscribe as well because I'm again I'm be pumping up new content and share this video with all the Discord, all your Discord servers, all your friends, whatever, Reddit, whatever. Get this round because we need to help fucking save the world or some shit you know i don't want to make it more dramatic but i'm telling you man this, this nofap stuff is huge it's got a million people on the subreddit there are so many dudes that are suffering we, we can help them it's possible i've done it for myself i'm gonna do it for you too we can spread this man make your own channel like let's let's fucking do it let's go so yeah that's it take care definitely read the freedom model go and book that's it